The next planet is Mars, the first destination you might think of after Earth. That's because its daytime temperature is mild, reaching 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit at the equator in the summer. But at night, the temperature plummets to minus 120 degrees Celsius or minus 184 degrees Fahrenheit, far colder than the lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth at Russia's Vostok station, which was minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. Modern spacesuits can handle temperatures down to minus 150 degrees Celsius. The real obstacle here is Mars's extremely thin atmosphere, which is mainly carbon dioxide. There's not enough oxygen to breathe, and the thin atmosphere can't protect the planet from harmful solar radiation. Mars receives about 30 times the harmful solar radiation that Earth does. Landing is also tricky, because the light atmosphere offers little resistance to slow down your spacecraft. But let's say you're a tough cookie, you survive, and you decide to take your spacesuit off. The first thing that happens is you can't breathe. Someone is choking you. Next, the gases in your body will slowly start to boil because the pressure on Mars is so low. This will cause intense, gradual pain all over your body. You'll suffer like this for a full minute and a half before losing consciousness due to the lack of oxygen. Within about two minutes, you'll be dead from multi-organ failure. However, if you have a safe habitat with oxygen and proper pressure and wear your spacesuit outside, you could potentially live on Mars for years. You can use solar power to run the colony. Mars also has water, but in the form of ice, which can be processed for agriculture. And oxygen can be extracted from the carbon dioxide. So you can live safely for years. But without any equipment or even a protective suit, you won't survive on Mars for more than two minutes. Now.